tech breaking news. Pavel Duruf, the founder of Telegram, who has just been arrested upon his arrival in France, is actually making waves currently on X and is trending, and more people are actually talking about it. Duruf, known for creating the widely used encrypted messaging app, which we all love, Telegram. If you are not on Telegram, try and go to the Play Store or Apple Store and then download, and you have the feel of what this particular app have to offer and serve its users. Drove is currently in the hands of the custody of the French authorities and the report actually suggests his arrest stems from his failure to cooperate with an ongoing investigation into criminal activities that were allegedly facilitated through the Telegram app. So it is believed that Drove may have refused to comply with the law to pronounce leading to his shocking turn of events which he is currently arrested and is actually in custody. This is what he had to say before the arrest actually happened when he granted an interview. So watch this video and get more insight of what he actually said. Where uh, you, know, you had this protests in Ukraine where people again would use VK to organize themselves and go to the main square of the city and uh, show their disagreement with the government. Yes. And uh, we received a request slash demand from the Russian side saying you have to give us the private data of the organizers of this protest. And our response was, wait, wait a minute, this is a different country. We won't betray our Ukrainian users because you ask us to do that. And we decided to refuse and uh, that didn't go too well with the Russian government as well. So at the end of that year, I had to make a difficult decision because I was offered basically a, a, a choice between two suboptimal uh, options. Uh, one of which was uh, I would start complying to whatever you know, the leaders of the country told me to do. The other one was I could um, sell my stake in the company, retire, resign as the CEO and leave the country. Um, I chose the latter. Uh, That's a, it's a, if I can just ask you to pause, it's a yeah. little strange because I have heard people say that Telegram is a part of the Russian government and you're describing the opposite. You're saying you had to leave the country because you wouldn't bow to their demands. Well, that exactly like you're saying, people who have very limited knowledge of where Telegram came from, they would make these claims. They could be encouraged by our competitors who see it as an easy way to discredit us because, you know, Telegram is spreading like forest fire. Two and a half million users sign up every day and we're sort of a threat. So I'm not surprised there's this perception because our competitors, they spend tens of billions on marketing and they're known for using PR firms to also engage in campaigns like that. So how, I much, do you, how much do you spend on marketing? Zero. Zero dollars in Z dollars? Zero dollars. We've never spent anything on acquiring users for marketing purposes. We never promoted Telegram, uh, you know, uh, on other social platforms in any way. Uh, this is very different from other apps. You could see them being promoted here or there. Telegram is different. All of our growth is purely organic. And, uh, we got to almost 900 million users uh, without uh, having to spend anything on ads to promote Telegram. Amazing. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt your No, 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 no it's, just, it's just interesting because I have heard people say that, um, but it sounds like the opposite of the truth. So you decided to sell the company, resign as CEO and leave your country. Yes. That's what I did. It was a bit painful because obviously my first company was my baby. I created myself. There was a lot of creativity, time and effort invested in that platform. But at the same time, uh, you know, I understood that I would rather be free. I would want to take orders from anyone. And uh, I left behind probably a comfortable life. Uh, but for me, it was never about Know, becoming rich for me everything in my life was about becoming free yes and 
to the extent it is possible, my mission in life was to allow other people to also become free, in a sense. And using the platforms that we create, or I created, uh, my hope was that they could express their freedom. So yes, guys, that's the reason why he actually is in the hands of the custody, or he's actually in the custody of the French authorities. As the story develops, please try and stay tuned for more updates on this particular story. If you like this video, or you like what you've heard, what you've watched, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, and share this video.